Week five of the LCS is behind us, and that means it's time for your week five power rankings. Let's start off in Europe, EU, where we got some changes at the top of the standings. G2 coming in in that top spot. I don't know how you can argue it after their absolute dismantling of Vitality on Saturday. Vitality, all they got were two dragons. That's it in that game. No kills, no turrets, just Two dragons, uh, I mean, the whole top half of the map for G2 continues to look fantastic. That's Wonder, Perks, and Yankos. Uh, the four-time defending champs have won six in a row now. They're sitting in a three-way tie, four first at seven and three. So G2 is looking scary. Uh, Fnatic, they've won five in a row now. I know Fnatic beat G2 earlier in the split, but I still got G2 ahead of them just because of that Vitality game. And G2's looked clean the last couple of weeks. Uh, really, and for Fnatic, Caps, for me, is right behind Perks for that top EU mid laner in EU. Uh, so Fnatic's looking great. Reckless looks more like his typical self that we're expecting coming into this split. And overall, they're looking a lot more clean around the map. Vitality, down to third. 0-2 week. Uh, not quite time to panic yet. They've had one bad week. It's it's going to be interesting to see how these guys rebound because, you know, they like to talk a lot of smack. They do have three LCS rookies on that squad, so we'll see if Yamato Cannon and guys like Gilius and Cabo Shard can get these guys back on track because they haven't really dealt with adversity uh, yet this week. They did lose to H2K, by the way, who uh, has looked terrible, but with Shook in the lineup, they look a lot better. And I will get to them in a little bit. They had a 2 a week, by the way. Spoiler. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, number four, we got Splice. Odawamne was looking miles and miles better. Uh, Splice absolutely dismantled uh, Giants in that first game on Saturday. Odawamne looked fantastic on the Camille, turning around 1v2 plays. Uh, I mean, I don't want to get too hyped about Splice. I, I don't really know what exactly. I still don't know if they're actually a good team. They did drag that game against Fnatic uh, to 43 minutes. That game shouldn't have lasted that long. I don't know if that's a knock on Fnatic or praise to Splice, but I don't think they were ever going to win that game. They seem to just go one and one every week, so not sure how good they actually are, but they're climbing. Uh, Rockat staying where they were from last week. They're still riding that 2-0 week that they had in week four. Uh, they had a lead versus H2K uh, until the last couple of minutes of that game, and then they lost it, and again, H2K looks Miles and miles better, but uh, Rockat, yeah, you know, didn't really do anything to move them up, and they were not bad enough to move them down, so they're hanging out in that fifth spot. Misfits uh, got them coming in at six, and I think that is generous. That's more so because the teams directly below them in Giants and Shulka didn't do enough to move up. They went down as well. All they did this week, uh, Misfits, was beat UOL and got pretty, pretty handily stomped. Uh, by G2. I know G2 had one kind of throw around Baron that Misfits almost got back in the game, but they never really actually had a chance in that matchup. And Senkux continues to struggle in that mid lane for me. He's He's been the weakest link of that lineup uh, so far. Yeah, Maxor's had some games where it looks like he's inting, but uh, overall he's still a top tier jungler in EU. But Sen Senkux has to step it up for Misfits to start climbing up the standings. Uh, Giants... I thought it would be the beginning of their climb, their downwards trend, and that looks to be the case. They're down three spots from last week. An 0-2 week, they've now lost four of five. I mean, if the game doesn't go past 40 minutes, they're not winning the game. And in a lot of these games, they're losing in the laning phase, getting behind pretty heavily early on, and then they're just kind of getting steamrolled. So I think Giants might continue to be moving down um, these standings. I think the honeymoon phase is over of this team being a top tier team in EU. Uh, Shulka, Whew. you know, I've had a lot of hype for this team. A lot of people have had hype for this team. They're down two spots from last week, an 0-2 week. They're now at four and six. They're even outside looking into that mass of bodies sitting at five and five in EU. And it was a rough week for Nuke Duck. No kills, he got destroyed uh, in both games for uh, Shulka, he looked particularly bad on the Galio against Fnatic. I mean, he's had 
pretty much stellar performances in every week up to this point, so I'm not too concerned about that. But this squad still just looks completely lost when it comes to a macro sense, so they gotta work on just overall gameplay and their communications in game, because they just kinda sit there and lose the game a lot of these times. Uh, upset, also not performing as well as I was expecting. Uh, H2K, wow. I alluded to it before, but it's, it's amazing how much better a team can look when you actually have someone who mains jungle playing the jungler position for your squad. Their first 2-0 week on the split, and they look like a totally different lineup now with Selfie and Shook uh, in that lineup. Shook's a guy, listen, Santorin, the criticism was he's too passive, he doesn't do anything, which as a jungler can be a bit of an issue. Shook is a double-edged sword, he'll get you ahead, he's not afraid to make those big plays, but sometimes it results in him feeding in some of these games, but that H2K lineup looks a lot better, and they might continue to climb in these standings, they might end up finishing better than a squad like Giants, so they're up to nine, good job H2K, uh, a little bit of love for the Unicorns as well, by the way, they're in 10th, they're in 10th in this week, but they did still get a win, and the only reason they didn't or the only reason they moved down to 10 is because H2K had such a great week. But both of these bottom tier teams are looking a lot better. And Exile, in particular, um, looked much better this week for the Unicorns. Specifically, that Zoe game uh, against Giants, he looked fantastic. And he's got a lot less unnecessary deaths for that UOL squad. And they need him to keep playing well if they want to at all have hopes for playoffs. Which is still there because there's so many teams sitting at five and five and that's that's the big chunk of teams going forward in eu but i mean it's still tight seventh or first all the way to tenth it's only like five games four games so there's still plenty of room for who's going to make the playoffs and we're halfway through the season so there's still plenty of movement that's probably going to happen in these power rankings make sure to like comment and subscribe for more esports content